topic of this video is soy boys. You know? I want to talk about soy boys in this video and go deep using my INFJ intuition. It, what really caused them to become these uh, soy boys and shit? You know, soy boys is a uh, just basically a, a metaphor for somebody who is a closet homosexual and doesn't want to come out. Okay, so they end up keeping their you know pseudo male identity, but deep inside they're really homosexuals. You notice that I said in my previous videos that, you know, I, I got nothing against the third sex, okay, against, against not, not, I have nothing against the LGBTQ thing, the uh, lesbian thing, you know, the, the, the whole shebang, right? Who I, I am against is the people that are pretending to be straight, but are not straight, okay, because that's a form of deceit. They are deceiving, you know, they are deceiving women into thinking that they're straight guys, but they're really not. And this is why we have very high divorce rates, okay? That's why the marriage rates declined is because of these, you know, closet homo soy boys who are actually really just homosexuals that don't, don't want to come out, okay? They don't want to fully come out because they are embarrassed or some shit that, that they are going to get judged, okay? So, you know, reality check, you know, let me give you a reality check here, soy boy. Okay, the gay marriage thing is already legal, so you need to leave women alone. And so the, the men that want to get married, they would get married and shit. You know, they will have families, you know. You, you can have your fucking, you know, uh, your gay relationship and nobody's gonna fucking judge you. Like, who the fuck is judging you and shit, man? See what I'm saying? It's nobody. And this fucking they they they, uh, they parade or some shit. The fucking the pride shit. They they parade out there. There's no need for you to fucking parade and shit. This feminism. You don't need feminism. There's so many soy boys. They, they're already kissing your ass. They're already fucking worshiping you and shit. You're already fucking sleeping around with these jocks and shit. And by the time you're 30 or 40, you're fucking you're trapping a simp. There's always a simp like waiting for you fucking a simp like making six figures and he's gonna fucking kiss your ass and fucking take care of you and your fucking kids your uh, your illegitimate kids you know the kids that you had from the fucking thug you know and this that's like the majority of marriages i see nowadays man you know this young woman plays around in her 20s sleeps with more than 20 guys okay more than 20 guys you know if she she might get pregnant she, she get pregnant and you know uh, from one of them some shit from a thug well yeah thug fucking stupid ass loser and then by the time she's 30 or 40 she's gonna find her a simp okay find her a simp either from family affiliations from fucking clubs organizations all these fucking soy boy hype minded you know fake carbon copy you know weak insecure groupies and shit you know? so the origin of soy boys really is feminist mothers and fatherless homes okay let me repeat that again it's feminist mothers either either you know uh, feminist liberals or feminist conservatives okay liberal feminists or conservative feminists so you know you, you got to keep in mind that this feminism thing is it just doesn't apply to liberal people it also applies to conservative people the fox news the fucking the reporters they're fucking feminists and shit they said it on screen several times too you know it's just a different flavor of uh, feminism it's more uh, covert narcissist narcissistic you know 
they're more uh, more finessing. They, they they present themselves as a oh I'm a feminine oh I'm traditional oh I'm Republican. But in in reality, fucking the guys like pussy whip and shit. They're gonna pussy whip the guy and fucking complain that he's not man enough and fucking he's like emasculated or some shit. When she herself fucking pussy whipped his ass and shit, man. You know. <clears throat> so I do have a solution to different solutions to that okay the situation okay solution number one do what I'm doing get you a passport okay GTFO out of here okay either from a job you know uh, apply to a job overseas or like find you know find a place that start a business and like you know start it overseas or something like that save some cash and start a business or apply you know teach English overseas you know there, there's people doing it but now you need a English degree from what I heard okay based on my research my basic research online you do need, need a, a master's degree in English okay not, not, not a master's no not a master's but a, I mean a bachelor's at least a bachelor's degree in English English is it's not a hard major man I've, I've majored in you know, harder things like fucking physiology or some shit like that so and that's nothing that's a fucking walk in the park like you're already speaking English like what the fuck like what else could they fucking you know make make you uh I mean challenge you for see what I'm saying nouns pronouns fucking verbs shit you know adjective oh right on that say oh <laughs> okay my, uh, some of my highest uh actually yeah, several of my highest uh, grades in college is actually English and philosophy, you know, so I barely studied philosophy, man. Philosophy to me is like second nature and shit. So, you know, and I, I didn't have to go deep because the instructor was like, oh, you got to stay on topic and, you know, don't go too deep, don't go too deep. So... Yeah, man, freaking soy boys, the soy boy epidemic, you know. It's not going to stop. I'm telling you, it's not going to stop. So there's, what you have is a is a majority. Okay, majority of the guys are going to be emasculated. They're going to be soy boys, okay. Either in your family or fucking your neighbors, your friends, your co-workers. There's going to be more and more of them. Uh, of course, you're going to get annoyed if you're a straight heterosexual man. With healthy hormonal levels. If you're just normal man, okay, a normal straight heterosexual man, your average, your typical average, you know, I'm not even saying you got to be athletic like me. You don't have to fucking run miles and miles, and like you don't have to fucking lift weights, do pull-ups and shit like that. You know, that's not that's not the real definition of masculinity. Anyway, that's just fucking you're stimulating Maya, okay? You're stimulating the 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 physical part of you. You know, I do think it's um. The spirit, spirit is the male, and then the body is the female. Okay, so that, that's just going deeper. You know, I did change my position before, and I did. You know, uh, recently, I'm cast one says that I said that the spirit is genderless, but I do think now that you know because of the epidemic of soy boys. So, so what I think is a soy boys, they they don't have a spirit; they only have a soul. Okay, and you know, souls they just reincarnate; they just come back here, come back here over and over again. But if you have a spirit inside of you, and once you die, you go back to the source. And you're, that spirit that's inside of you, that's making you male. Actually, you're the source of creativity. You are the source of new. That's why they're trying to stop you here in a, on earth, okay? It doesn't matter where you go. Go here, live here in America, live overseas. You know, they will never put you in the leadership position, okay? No matter how much, how qualified you are, because... They don't want to bring forth progress, real progress, real new, okay? They don't want new. They just want same, you know, the same over and over again. That's why they, they, they love to say, oh, history repeats itself. History repeats itself. Oh, life is like a circle. Oh, we just go round, like a merry-go-round. You know, and then, you know, how they... uh 
they they uh, derive the yin and yang. They fucking they draw the yin and yang like a fucking circle and shit. You know. What it is is uh, they're trying to trap something spiritual into something physical. You know, which the which is what the uh, the demurge did is you know they uh, they are an image. Okay, these uh, majority. Okay, on planet Earth they are an image of the demurge. They are the Adam and Eve. Okay, they are the offspring of Adam and Eve. And I don't think we're subjected to that shit. Like spiritual people, we are not subjected to the Adam and Eve story. We're we're on a different level, man. We're on a different plane. We're not cursed by the demiurge or some shit like that. We're we're pulled by the demiurge here to torment us and shit. Okay? We are like the real um we're the real players. Like we're the real characters in the story. We're we're not NPC, okay? I'm not a high minded idiot. Like do you see me following fucking Whatever is uh, new, whatever is fucking. I may, I may give you my opinion on it, okay? I may give you my interpretation of it. Just like whenever I talk about demiurge and, you know, things like this. But these things that I come up with, okay? Whenever I meditate, whenever I make these videos, I come up with something new, okay? So it's coming from, from uh, the meditations that I do. And I, I would change my positions. Like I did just recently on the spirit thing, you know, I, I do think the spirit is the male, the real male, and the physical, the physical body, your physical body is the female, okay? So every time you meditate, every time you, you channel your spirit, every time you channel your wisdom, every time you're able to come up with, you know, uh, something new that is original and can help elevate yourself and others can advance their life in a positive way then you know or affect their life in a positive way then that is coming from the spirit okay and anything that's positive is actually coming from the spirit anything that's negative is actually coming from the demiurge it's actually you know the karma <laughs> if again you know everybody and everything is like subjected to the karma you know except the spirit and I think even the spiritual individuals here like you know like even martyrs if they do something wrong or something like that you know even saints ascetics or like monks they do something wrong to somebody some is something bad is gonna something bad is gonna come back come back and return to them you know and man the thing is is a uh, this whole entire thing is backwards, you know, just like IMKS1 is saying, you know, for us spiritual individuals, like, it doesn't matter how good you are, it doesn't matter how nice you are to them, how nice you treat them, how, you know, how humble you are, how, you know, how much you help them. They're still gonna, they're still gonna sh shit on you because you're different from them, okay? By simply being different, by simply being, you know, being the color brown, okay? when everybody else is white or when everybody else is a uh, yellow or when everybody else is pink you know when the majority this, this is why they, their favorite uh, another favorite of them one of their favorite of them are saying this uh, saying uh, that's a favorite of them it's a uh, majority is always right remember that remember that in school R even your parents say that shit man they say majority is always right remember that in grade school in uh, high school whatever the majority says is right like different variations of that shit like they have this fucking oh oh uh, what the majority says this is you know we vote we vote but you know there's 85 percent says yes and then we're gonna do it yay you know you see what i'm saying it's it's like that it's like even if it's wrong okay even if it's illogical even even if it's coming from emotions and not coming from logic logic and reason they're gonna do that shit, man. They 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 will do that shit. You know, just like I said, you know, my, my previous video, <coughs> the the boots thing, you know, the boots thing, the fucking yoga pants. Like you know, it's hot, it's hot as hell, like in, in summer, and you see them wearing boots. Why are they wearing boots in the summer? Like the, these boots are fucking like, I'm talking about like a uh, on your knee, like as high as your knee and shit, man, and, and they're fucking thick. 
and they're like, oh, I'm so hot. Like, you know, these bitches are like, oh, it feels so hot. It must be global warming. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. the earth is changing. The weather is changing. The climate is changing. Nah, no, you're wearing fucking boots and shit, man. See what I'm saying? You see how stupid that shit is? Man. And then, okay. And not only that. It's also uh, the yoga pants, okay? So... You know, I mean, th doesn't it uh, come to your uh, sense like, you know, I don't know, like, people who are like overweight and like obese, you know, they are the ones who are freaking wearing the yoga pants and shit. It's the most unsightly <laughs> scene that you will ever see in your life, man. It's like, man, what the hell, you know, like, freaking out of shape and like trying to show your body and shit. Freaking wearing spandex, wearing freaking yoga pants and shit. You know, just because fucking, or surname, uh, hide the Klum, or like fucking, uh, uh, just because a model, a Victoria's Secret model is wearing it, it doesn't mean you have to wear it. Maybe it doesn't look good on you and shit, you see what I'm saying? That's fucking, man, I don't know, man. Like, they don't ever have any fucking fashion sense, they don't give a damn, like, how they look to the public and shit. I mean, you know, if you're trying to attract uh, an opposite sex, you're trying to attract a guy, you're supposed to care about how you look and shit. See what I'm saying? It's and these bitches are not even working out and shit. I mean like recent video that uh a Doc G uh you know um uploaded there talks about that, you know. They don't really care, it's like they're fucking spoiled as fuck and shit, man. It's they'll wear that shit because it's comfortable, quote unquote comfortable. They don't care if you if you feel uh you know uh if you're disgusted or some shit like that at the side of this fucking overweight you know flappity flap okay <laughs> fucking uh fat flapping all over the place fucking smelly sweat and shit you know it's unsightly man it's unsightly and they're not even working out like why would you wear yoga pants in public and you never you never even work out so you see what I'm saying it's what a waste of time what a waste of freaking money and shit you know like why would you buy those fucking things and I remember because I remember back in the 90s right because I grew up in the 90s like these uh, fat bitches they, they would purposely wear black okay they would wear black and they would wear thick clothes because they, they don't want you seeing their fat the fat in their bodies right I remember even the the big shirt okay the reason why we had the big shirt it's because these uh, these fat dudes, these uh, overweight dudes, they don't want you to see, you know, all the fat in their body, so they'll wear something big, right? So, because it, it's gonna it's gonna show up, the the fat is gonna show up if they're gonna wear something like short, they're gonna something a uh, short shirt, something like that, something short sleeve. So, you know, the solution to this is, uh, you know, I spoke a little bit about this earlier in the video, but the solution to this is do what I do, okay? Start a business or, you know, just move overseas, apply for a job overseas and, you know, just move out, move out of this country, move somewhere that where, you know, the relationships are normal, where people are normal, okay? Freaking male is male, female is female, okay? And the gays are gays, okay? The lesbians are lesbians, okay? There's consistency, where there's consistency in the dynamics of the relationships, okay? When you are doing you, okay? And nobody messes with you. That's what I mean, okay? When you move overseas. That's why I'm moving to the Philippines, man. It's, I don't, I never had the problem of like being snooped around, being fucking covert, narcissistically attacked by somebody. I never even learned about covert narcissism when I was there. I learned about covert narcissism once I got here. In the states i learned about racism once i got here in the states okay i learned about divorce once i got here in the states because people there there's no divorce there in the philippines okay so once you get married you're stuck that's why i told you to keep single to keep up being single and shit you know see what i'm saying even if you go there so the solution number two is you can go remote here in the states you can stay in the states 
you know, uh, live in Kansas or live in um, Arizona or, you know, so somewhere remote that, you know, you can work remote in your laptop or something like that and you're earning monthly. Save, save, save your money and then you retire early and then just move overseas or m move to the next um, country over to Mexico or something like that and live a low, you know, low cost of living lifestyle. You know, uh, you can be in Colombia, Brazil, or something like that. Once you retire early, because you're gonna save your money, because you're gonna you're gonna be in the red pill, right, or black pill, and then you're just gonna focus on yourself. You're gonna shun everybody, and then you just like you do you, and then you just be like you know, um, kind of like vention, you know, you just dump, dump everybody out and just freaking retire early and then GTFO as soon as possible, you know, sell your shit and GTFO as soon as possible, and. The third option is okay, the, th the third option is um would be a good third option. You can do a combination of both. Okay, for the third option you can do a combination of both, okay. You can take a break from all this and like, you know, save your money in the short term and like have some uh set aside a year, okay, of living overseas and just like you know, save enough to live for a year somewhere low cost of living and just come back here once you've, you know, uh, reformulated your plan, okay? You can you can use it as a life searching kind of thing, like, you know, you can use it as a break, kind of a rehab yourself from the fucking fakeness and shit, you see what I'm saying? It's, I think we all need that shit, man. It's fucking, we need a break from this shit, you know? Fucking take me to the moon or take, take me to fucking somewhere aside from this fucking piece of shit kind of place, man. It's fucking the same cardboard cardboard people, the same fucking fake ass motherfuckers pretending to be, you know, somebody they're not. Oh, look at me, I'm Catholic. Oh. And then the fucking the next day, you see them twerking in the clubs and shit. You see them fucking they they claim to be religious, like especially these bitches fucking posting Bible passages, gospel passages on Facebook. I know because I've da dated several of them. I dated like three or four of them and shit. You know, see what I'm saying? So, I'm not even a religious person myself, man. Man, th these bitches have like fucking five dudes at one time, eight dudes at one time. I'm like, damn, like fucking, like, are you are you a fucking prostitute or some shit? I'm like, what the hell? And then they're like, oh no, I'm just you know, I'm sorry you found out. Oh blah blah blah. You know, how did you find out? I'm not gonna tell you how I found out. Again, I got my ways and shit, you know? I got my ways. If you're lying to me, I can find out and shit. So, that's it for this video. Peace out.